Hello you guys, Mariela here. Welcome to my channel. Since now, she just got real time to light her in since now. Today what you're gonna watch is a vlog. You're gonna see two recipes. I've never done a video like this, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. You get to know me a little bit better. If you guys wanna continue seeing videos like this, please make sure to comment below and communicate with me. You guys ask and you shall receive. So I can continue growing. Please watch this video all the way until the end. Please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and please comment below. And I also wanna say thank you so much for my subscribers. I think as of right now, I have 171 subscribers and I'm so, 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 so happy and so thankful that this channel is growing. I'm working very hard. As you guys know, I'm a single mom. I work full time and I do so many other things on the side that it is a sacrifice and a lot of hard work for me to make these videos. So I'm so happy that I'm getting a good turnout and that you guys are watching. I'm very, very, very thankful for the success that I have thus far and I can't wait to continue bringing you guys more videos but so no further ado stay tuned for this vlog you guys hello guys good morning it is sunday july 19th it is 9 47 i'm sipping my tea let your light shine so I'm going to work for a few hours and then I'm going to hop on this baby. God, I love her. I love her so much. Like, I know I'm gonna go far with this and I know that you guys are about to see some major changes. I have a workout room, but I didn't wanna put her in the workout room. I wanted to put her inside my house because I feel like if it's in my face and it's in my kitchen I'll be motivated to wake up every morning and use it um, it still doesn't have a home I just threw it in here real quick I'm trying to figure out where I can put it and honestly I might even put it in my room but yeah I'm gonna work for a few hours and then I am going to get on this baby what are we gonna name her I was thinking naming her Sonia, but I don't. Like, I'm gonna think of a, a name and I'll get back to you guys with my ideas. Well, something that can help you a lot is something that you are already doing. Like, you know, putting on your social media. Look, I, I put this video. Um, also, um, you can ask people to, to share, to support you. Um, and yeah, little by little, because, you know, these, these things take time. But look, you are improving a lot. I see you have already like 500-something subscribers, so that's that's great. Little by little, así que uno empieza, like little by little. I'm just making a shake before I work. Because I gotta have my breakfast. So I'm just adding one scoop of vanilla and two scoops of the, let me make sure, banana caramel, formula one. Protein sustains you, builds your muscle. Formula one has all the vitamins, nutrients and minerals that your body needs and that you would find in a healthy meal. All right, my shake is done. I love to have my shake in a mason jar. to have my shake today because I'm gonna be using Prolessa. Finally, I was able to buy it. I made so much money this month in Herbalife that I was able to splurge and purchase it. So this is an amazing product because it burns abdominal fat, it suppresses your appetite, and it really freaking works. So it's an amazing product if you are on a weight loss journey. And I'm serious about my shit, y'all. I got my spin bike, I'm ready to do this. So let's get it, work time. It's empowering to talk to someone that supports you and you guys, those are the kind of friends that you need to have. People that support you and that are on your corner. That is how you build uh, positivity in your life. If that's not the type of support that I'm receiving from a friend or a family member, then I don't need you in my life. And we're just talking about consistency and everything that 
consistency in everything that you do, whether it's working out, whether it's working towards your goal, anything that you do, you need to be consistent in order for it to flourish. So with that being said, uh, I am so excited to be on YouTube building a team, building an empire, acquiring real ones. So that would be you guys. I'm very thankful for the subscribers that I do have. 500 subscribers. 500 subscribers guys like you don't understand how many years i've been wanting to do this for it's been a long time that i have been wanting to do this but i have allowed fear to hold me back i feared of the way that i looked on camera i feared that i didn't want to show up on camera without any makeup i feared that i would let you guys into my home i feared that you guys would judge me but you know what now that I'm a little bit more mature and I've gone through life experiences, I see that all of my fears are very similar to the fears that you guys might have. And also, I am a regular human being. So everything that I am going through, I'm sure somebody in the world is going through that. And if I continue to live in a miserable life, not working towards my goal or not living in the dream that I've always wanted for myself, then I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life. And that is not life. So I am in the process of creating the life or designing the life that I desire uh, and I'm loving it because I know that it's possible because other people have accomplished this goal. Many, many people have accomplished this goal. So it's already been done. I know the formula on how to accomplish the goal. So now the hardest part is being consistent and honestly, I feel like all it took me was to start and now i'm on a roll and i'm enjoying the process and it's not even difficult to move forward with the process i'm focused y'all so if you have a goal and you have a dream uh surround yourself with people that are positive and that believe in that dream um work towards that dream believe in that dream and believe that you are able to accomplish it because the law of attraction is everything and stop letting fear hold you back because I let fear hold me back for 10 years. And guess what? I am starting over in my life. But I don't care because I'm starting over doing what I love. And I know. I know that I will never regret this decision. And I can't wait to look back in this video. And see where I'm at. And then see where I'm going to be. Well, every time before I work out. I like to always use a pre-workout. Because I need me some energy. So let me read the instructions. So it says to use two scoops with eight ounces of water. So I'm using two scoops. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water because I want it to be more concentrated. And I'm gonna shake it up. Talking about we a lot, oh I speak French now. Crochet pants, time to take them in a inch now. Hit me up like, do you wanna hang right now? I'm on the south side of a Martin Luther King, right? Do you wanna watch? Do you? Well, my workout is complete. I was on the, I was on the bike. I was cycling for 51 minutes and 44 seconds, and this is the amount of calories that I burned. So it says active calorie 410, total calories 505. And today's a Sunday, so I say that's a win. All right, guys, so I am starting a meal prep right now. And I basically already went ahead and chopped up everything because I'm going kind of crazy right now. My son is super hyper, as you can hear. So bear with me if you hear him in the background. What? I need that. 
out. Yeah, that's you in the mirror. Oh, you want Mickey Mouse? So I'm getting ready to make a pasta. I'm using whole wheat pasta. And in the pasta, I'm adding onions, uh, orange pepper, green pepper, garlic, and zucchini. And the meat that I will be using for the pasta is ground turkey, of course. And then I'm also making an Asian fried rice, but it's not really fried. So I'm adding onions to that. Here's my chicken and I'm adding some mixed vegetables and garlic and all that good stuff, which you will see in a second. So I'm gonna add some black pepper to my meat. I'm going to add the adobo light. I'm going to add the ground oregano. I'm also going to add a little bit of sasson, just a little bit, to my entire meat. I always think I'm gonna add a little and then I end up adding the whole entire thing. Cause it tastes so good, y'all. And now I'm just gonna mix everything all together. So I'm just gonna let that season for a little bit. So while that seasons for a little bit, I'm going to add these vegetables to the pot, but I'm gonna add the zucchini last. Right now I'm gonna add the garlic, the peppers in the pan, and then I'll add the meat, and then I'll add the zucchini, and then I'll add the pasta last. So for the pasta, I'm just gonna use two cups. That might even be an extra push, but I'd rather have more. I already have I already have my water boiling and I'm just gonna let that boil until it gets super super tender and I added a little tiny bit of sea salt to my water as well as a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick okay guys so I already added a little bit of olive oil to my pan and as you can see that is sizzling so I'm going to add all these amazing veggies that have so many macronutrients and are gonna give your food an amazing taste. And we are going to let these veggies sizzle. I'm sorry, it's so hard to cook with one hand. So we're gonna let these veggies sizzle until they get a little bit transparent. So I will show you guys in just a sec. Okay guys, so the veggies are oh let me lower the steam on this we got a little steam going on over here but this is what the veggies look like once they are ready so now i'm gonna put in that turkey mm. i'm showing y'all all my secret recipes so bear with me because it's very hard to do this with one hand we are going to let this cook and I will be right back you guys. So while my turkey meat for the pasta that I'm making is cooking, I'm going to start making my other meal and what I'm and for the other meal what I'm making is a chicken fried rice except it's really not going to be fried but it's an inspiration of that and I already have my chicken here and I'm just going to be um, seasoning it with some onions, some garlic and some teriyaki sauce. Super simple. This is not the teriyaki sauce that I normally use but my supermarket ran out of the one that I had so I'm going to try this one and it is high in sodium and in sugar so you have to be very mindful when you use this not use too much so I'm literally going to add all the onions and garlic and I'm going to add some of the teriyaki sauce and I do have a lot of chicken on here so I literally poured it like that and I'm just gonna move it around now so I tossed everything around it is sitting there seasoning and I have my air fryer ready. While the chicken seasons for a little while, I'm going to go and check up on that turkey meat. So that looks about right. We have a lot of color in there. We got a lot of lean meat. And the pasta is done as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some more color. And I am going to add my zucchini. And I'm going to carefully 
spread that around very carefully and I will be right back because I need to do that off camera okay so we have our turkey meat with our green pepper with our orange pepper with our onion with our garlic and with our zucchini so now I'm going to add my sauce and this is a Pagos farmers market roasted garlic sauce so this I believe is an organic addition it's a little bit healthier and I highly recommend it because it tastes so damn good so I went ahead and added my sauce to my amazing turkey meat combo and I'm just gonna let that simmer on low heat for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta mm -mm -mm. yummy in my tummy so I went ahead and added the pasta and this is what the finished result looks like you guys it totally looks amazing so you have your healthy carbs which is the whole wheat pasta you have your veggies which is the zucchini the peppers the onions and the garlic and you have your proteins which is the turkey meat so this is an amazing healthy meal and it tastes good and you're not sacrificing your taste buds you guys you're not even gonna be able to taste the vegetables everything is gonna taste bomb and it's gonna be a freaking powerful fusion in your mouth while you're eating healthy it's like the best of both worlds you guys you can't beat that and I'm also gonna add some light cheddar cheese on the top because you know your girl loves you some cheese so now we are going to add the chicken to the air fryer bowl and this is the chicken so it's been it's been seasoning for maybe 10 minutes on a regular day I would let it season for longer than that but today that's not an option but it's okay it's still gonna taste good so I'm just adding it on my air fryer I love to cook on my air fryer because it gives you that it gives the chicken that delicious crunch as if it was fried, but it's really not fried. And this is an Asian inspired dish. I actually learned this recipe from Jordan Cheyenne, I love her. You know what is making me annoyed, you guys? That teriyaki sauce that I bought doesn't smell as good as the one that I normally buy. So I'm just gonna put some onions and I'll show you guys in a second. Some of the onions and garlic right on the top. And that is what it's looking like. And I'm gonna have some leftover, but I'm just gonna throw that in the freezer. And I'm gonna pop that in the air fryer. So I'm gonna slow cook it and I'm gonna leave it in there for half an hour in the beginning and I'm gonna keep stirring it and checking it. I like for it to slow cook so it could be nice and tender and juicy. And I'm just going to put my leftovers in here. So on another day when I wanna repeat this dish, everything's gonna be nice and seasoned. And all I have to do is defrost it and I'm ready to go. And I'm going to put this in the freezer. So for my fried rice, I'm going to be using the Goya Thai Jasmine rice. God damn, I use a lot of Goya. I never even realized that. But yes, this is the rice that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to be cooking a cup or two. Nothing too crazy because I already got way too much food. But like I said, I'd rather have more food than less food. So I literally just added one cup of rice to my pot and now I'm going to add mixed veggies to my rice and I don't measure my veggies because it's veggies. Who the hell measures veggies? The more the merrier. So I'm just going to throw some in there and I will show you guys how much veggies I toss in there. So just wait a second. Don't be so impatient. So I added this many veggies. Now I'm going to stir everything up. All right, so I mixed everything together. I got my water, I got my rice. We're gonna let this simmer and we're gonna let the water dissolve and then we're gonna put the lid over it and I will show you guys, so stay tuned. So my rice is simmering and I don't know, but there's something about jasmine rice. Like I love how jasmine rice smells. It literally smells so good. 
so we have to wait until there's no more water before we put the lid on it. Doesn't it look so pretty? Okay, so there is no more water on the rice. I moved it around. I am going to lower it to maybe number four and I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna let that slow cook because we are not in a rush, honey. We're not even eating this today. Okay, guys, so the pasta has cooled off. Look at how amazing this looks. It literally looks picture perfect. And I'm going to serve it on my little meal prep containers. We definitely have more than four servings, but I do have a big family, so I always rather have more than less. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna serve those. So I have my meal prep ready to go. So I filled it up just like this and then I have one at the end that has extra food. That's, about, that's just a leftover for one of my brothers or my sister if they're hungry. But I have one meal prep ready. Now let's finish with the other. All right guys, so it is much later during the day. It is uh, 10 55 and my son is asleep and I finally am able to pack away my second meal so the chicken is done and the rice is done and I will be placing this food in these containers so these are the containers that I'm gonna be placing the food in I'm gonna be placing the rice in the bigger section and I'm gonna be placing the chicken in the smaller section and then when it's time for me to eat these meals and heat them up I'm gonna be um, mixing everything together and reheating it as if it is like a fried rice type of situation I'm sorry if the camera's crooked as long as y'all can see right but like I was saying, I could already eyeball it and be able to tell how much rice I should be having. I love the way jasmine rice smells. I made so much food, you guys. Trying to impress y'all, trying to make freaking videos for y'all. Everything's filled up. the chicken and yes I'm just gonna use my finger the chicken smells so good love it So this is the second meal. I have my chicken with my jasmine veggie rice. Like, like I said, I will be heating this up on the stove and when I heat it up, I'm gonna mix it all together and add a little bit more of teriyaki sauce just so it can be an inspiration of fried rice. You can also add some scrambled eggs and even some shrimp and who knows, maybe I'll record it when I do this so you guys can see exactly what I do and how I do it. But yeah, this is my second meal prep for the week. Okay guys, so right here I have my teriyaki chicken and my rice and now I'm going to make my fried rice inspiration. So I already have my pot super hot and I put a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to crack this egg and scramble it in here. So I will be right back with that. Okay, so before I do anything, the first thing that I am making is my egg and I'm just going to let that scramble. So I added my rice to the pot so it can heat up and now I'm going to add my ch chicken but I'm going to shred it up in little pieces. So I added my rice to the pot so it can heat up and now I'm going to add my ch chicken but I'm going to shred it up in little pieces. So I have my rice, I have my chicken and I have my eggs and I'm just going to make sure everything is nice 
and hot and I'm gonna mix everything together and that is my inspiration of fried rice so I will be right back to show you so this is the final product I added some avocado on the side but I cannot wait to dig in you guys Hello everyone, so it's a whole nother day and I've already edited the video. I promise that I will get better at editing those type of videos. I am a mom and my baby's two years old, so sometimes it gets very hard and stressful to be multitasking and thinking about so many different things um, all the time and trying to achieve all of them perfectly. So I apologize if the video did seem all over the place. I'm new to this and I'm trying really hard to do the best that I can and have good quality and have good editing and have good footage but I am gonna continue working on that to become better but I just wanted to say a quick announcement um, one of my subscribers asked me um, or I don't even know if it was a subscriber but someone commented on my video saying well you can buy uh, the Herbalife products off Amazon so what's the difference why don't I just get them off Amazon so I just want to put it out there that Herbalife products do not sell through regular retail companies. You will not find Herbalife in a supermarket. You will not find Herbalife on Amazon. You will not find Herbalife in a nutrition shop. You will not find Herbalife at any traditional stores. Herbalife is only sold through independent distributors. So anything that you buy elsewhere, it's not guaranteed to be an original. It's not guaranteed to be an original. I'm not saying that it's a fake if you do buy it on off Amazon, but it's no guarantees. Um, you don't know what is gonna be inside of the container. Um, not only that, but you won't receive a meal plan. You won't receive an exercise plan. You won't receive one-on-one -on -one support from your coach. You won't you won't be part of an amazing community and an amazing support group that Herbalife has to offer and you won't be a part of my team. So if you don't want to buy it off of me, that's perfectly fine. There are so many coaches out there that will be able to give you the meal plan, the exercise plan, the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the support system. But Amazon or eBay is not going to give you that. So why would you miss out on the amazing community that Herbalife has to offer? So that is my answer to you when it comes to buying products off Herbalife. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, but I still need my watch hours in order to get monetized. So feel free to please watch this video all the way into the end. Help me get monetized. Help me get my watch hours and join the family. Become a real one and hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye, you guys.